my friends. God is good all the time and all the time God is good. Welcome to another at home edition of our worship on Wednesdays. I'm so glad that you can join us today. And today I want to start a time out by having you guys share around your table. How do you remember things? We just had Memorial Day where we remember people that died in service. Last Thursday was Ascension Day where we remember that 40 days after Easter, Jesus rose up into heaven. How do you remember things? What are things that you make sure you have as a tradition to remember? Take some time um, and discuss it around your tables. And as you do, um, tap your toes a little bit to the good old classic, I'll Fly Away. a good conversation. Memorial Day was always a really special holiday for me. Uh, my grandfather was in the Navy and served in World War II and it was a really special day for him not because um, people were applauding him or that he got to ride in a float, which he did once, <laughs> um, but it was a special day to remember those um, that he knew that had died in combat, that didn't get home, that didn't get to come back and marry their sweetheart and build a house and a family. Grandpa lived to 94 years old, and it was always a special day to go to the cemetery, to listen to taps. We grew up in a town called Cannon Falls, so they shot a cannon off, which was kind of exciting, even as a grown-up. Um, and then um, go down to the good old VFW um, and drink a cheers to those who didn't make it back home. Our scripture this week comes from Corinthians 15. And Paul has some really interesting words when we think about death and we compare it to Jesus' death and resurrection. There's these really famous lines that say, death is swallowed up by victory. Where, O oh, death, is your victory? Where, O oh, death, is your sting? Because we know that in our faith in Jesus Christ, that we too will be raised. Now, I don't know how that literally means, what that literally looks like, but I know what it means on a day-to-day -day basis. I know that because of my faith and my trust in God, that even when I make mistakes, even when things don't go right, Every day, by God's grace, I'm resurrected back up to life. Every day, I'm renewed. And that's such a blessing. 
So what that means for our physical bodies after we die, I don't know, Paul tries to make sense of it. It's a lot of immortal and mortal talk in there. It's hard to picture, it's hard to imagine, but I know that if we believe in the resurrection of Jesus, we believe that he ascended into heaven and that God promises us that we will eternally be with him. Let your imagination go wild what that looks like. But it's the end of the scripture that I really wanted to focus on today. And chapter 15 at verse 58, it says, Therefore, my beloved, be steadfast, immovable, always excelling in the work of the Lord. Because you know that in the Lord, your label was not done in vain. Be steadfast, be immovable in our work for God. Because even when those things beat us down, even when those things don't go our way, God will continue to rise us up every day. Now the scripture really spoke to me over the past couple days. When we hear about things going on in our world, people being selfish, people thinking that they're better than others, when we see blatant racism, when we hear people not caring about other people's lives, God asks us to be steadfast, to be immovable in our love and in our actions. And what that looks like for each of us, I don't know. But as we sit here and we watch the rain fall down, that rain that comes down and gives new life, it waters our plants, it gives us water to drink, the lightning brightens our grass and helps the leaves to grow. We knew that everything can be made new. As a prayer activity this week, I invite you to meditate on the famous words of Ecclesiastes chapter 3. And as I read each line, I invite you to lift up your left thumb if you're feeling like you're more in the place of the first. And raise up your right thumb if you're feeling like you're more in the place of the second item. Let's read the scripture together. For everything there is a season, a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die a time to plant, and a time to pluck up what was planted, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones, and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek, and a time to lose. A time to keep, and a time to throw away. A time to tear, and a time to sow. A time to keep silent, and a time to speak. A time to love, and a time to hate, a time for war, and a time for peace. Well, I want to encourage you to continue um, exploring those words this week. Um, if you go online and print these words off, um, maybe use them as something that you just simply circle. Um, maybe it's something that you journal. Maybe each line is a prayer to you. Lord, right now I'm feeling like I'm gonna break down. Can you help me move to that time when I feel built up? But as we read those words in Corinthians, <laughs> God asks us to be immovable in his love. It's in every one of these times that we can find his peace. Every one of these times that he raises us up every single day, every single one of these times. What a blessing take some time this week and think about what time you're in and how God can use that.